Persistent logic simulation allows you to simulate the logic states in your file um, while you're in an offline mode. So as you can see here, I'm in a disconnected or offline mode. I'm not connected to a device. And I've set up a simple logic circuit here with uh, a logic state block, which is being used to generate logic signals. I'm sending those logic signals through a bunch of logic gates, and then finally out to a digital output, which could be uh, a logic box. And so what I can do is right-click on a port and choose Persistent Logic Simulation in Normal or Locked Mode. And when I do that, I get a red or green indication on each port letting me know that the signal either going into an input or going out of an output is high or low or off or on in, in one of those two logic states. Um, and when I change things here at my logic state, you'll see that they update to show me exactly how my logic circuit is working. And so we can use this to test out a logic circuit, make sure it's working correctly, or we can just use it to get a better idea of how logic gates work in general. Um, so for instance, the NOT gate is just turning its input around. If, it, if it's low on the input, it's high on the output, and if it's high on the input, it's low on the output. Um, an OR gate is just uh, whenever any of its inputs are high, its output will go high. Uh, so if I turn any of these on, or even multiple ones of them on, um, its output goes high. When they're all off, its output goes back off. An XOR gate or an exclusive OR gate, will uh, its output will go high uh, whenever either of its inputs are high. Uh, but when both are high, it'll go off. So you can see I've turned one on and the output is on, and I turn both on, the output goes off. Uh, finally here, everything is connected into an AND gate, which um, basically when it needs all of its inputs to be high before its output will go high. Um, so I can do that by turning off the first logic state to make the first one go high. The second one's already high. To make the third one go high, I can turn on any of these. And to make the last one go high, I can just turn off one of these. Now I've got all four inputs high in my AND gate. The output is high, and the input to my digital output block is also high now.